Dear Journal, the seasons are ever-changing. And with the arrival of summer came a strong desire to not let life keep slipping by. I was yearning for a change of scenery, a new challenge, a place to lose myself in for a spell. to experience the awe and wonder of a landscape I've never laid eyes on before. And so, I decided to come here. But first, I would pick up some friends. A refreshing prospect after so long with limited human contact. And together, we would spend the next four days sharing a new adventure in the wilderness. These packs are going to be hella heavy. <laughs> Why did you say the helicopter? Oh, yeah. I wanted to do that last year when my parents visited. And we didn't have too much time. How is it going over there? <laughs> so I was thinking maybe you could fly there and just hike down. <laughs> it's uh, actually not as heavy as I thought. Do you have there everything? Except of the camera? Except the tent. And the camera. And the tracking pole. <laughs> but the tent won't That's be that right, so much. Like, are filled with aching muscles, spirit-lifting laughter, and so much beauty. There's something special in a shared appreciation and understanding of these mountains.
As usual, with my luck, every morning we wake up to rain. But I mean it when I say luck. This is my favorite weather. Because I know when it's dark and moody, there's still always light somewhere on the other side. And so I enjoy these slow mornings, embodying each moment with patience and knowing that, inevitably, at some point, the light will break through. And in these breakthrough moments, it's like the air is charged with this powerful balance of light and dark dancing together, revealing the magic of the mountains, where you really can't predict anything. You can only revel in it. Eventually, our days spent living in the shadow of the tallest mountain in the Canadian Rockies come to an end. take our time hiking the 21 kilometers back out, soaking in every last moment of magic. And in contrast with every aching footstep, my heart grows even lighter. I find myself bursting with gratefulness for these surroundings. Nature is medicine for the soul, fueling us forward into the world refreshed, relaxed, and ready to face what's next. A car just around the corner, we are coming home.